Hello everyone, welcome to this lesson. In this lesson we're going to quickly look at the properties of straight lines and triangles. So here we have a straight line of course. Now first thing we need to know is that the angles on a straight line will always add up to 180. So what that means is that if I have a straight line here and I've got this angle on the right and I've got this angle on the left, together that should add up to 180. So if this is 120, then this angle inside here would have to be 180 minus 120, which is 60 degrees, because the angles on a straight line always add up to 180. But now students often ask me, Kevin, does that mean that all of these must add up to 180? No. What you do is you look over here, those two must add up to 180, those two must add up to 180, and those two must add up to 180. Sorry, that's meant to be a 40. So this angle would be 60 degrees because 120 plus 60 is 180. This angle would be 80 degrees because they add up to 180. And then this whole angle over here would be 140 because they add up to 180. Now here's something else. When we have lines that cross like this, then you should remember that the angles opposite each other will always be the same. And so that also means that these two will be the same. We call that vertically opposite angles. So that means that if this is 30, then the one that's opposite would have to be 30 as well, like that. Now, here we've got a straight line. So that means that these two angles, this one and this one, would have to equal 180 degrees. So that means that this angle inside here would have to be 150 because this one is already 30. So I can fill that in. Then that means that this one would have to be 150 because these two are vertically opposite each other. Now, if I look at this line over here and I look at these two angles, oh, they add up to 180. Great, that makes sense. If I look at this line over here and I look at these two, they add up to 180, that makes sense. And then if I look at this line over here, and on this side, they add up to 180 because that's a straight line. So here's a practice question. See if you can work out what X, Y, and Z would be. All right, so there's different ways to do this. So for example, I know that Y is exactly opposite the 20 degrees. So I can say that that's 20 because of vertically opposite angles. If I then look at this line over here, I know that these two, so the 20 and the X, should add up to 180. That means that X would have to be 160 degrees. Then I know that X and Z are vertically opposite, and so they must be the same, and so that's 160. I could have done that in a different way. I could have looked at this line over here, and I could have realized that these two angles must add up to 180, and so that would have to be 160. Let's move on to triangles. The first thing you need to know about a triangle is that all three angles, so this one, this one, and this one, will always add up to 180 degrees. Always. Now you get three different types of triangles. You get one like this. What those lines represent is that all three sides have the same length. So when three lengths are the same, then all three angles have to be the same. So we can all three of those angles are the same, but we also said that they always have to add up to 180. But if they're the same, then you can say 180 divided by 3, and that is 60. So they will all be 60 degrees. When all three sides are the same, we call that a equilateral triangle. You can see the word equal there, almost. Um, so that's an equilateral. Maybe it's spelled like that. I can't even remember. I'm just going to go with that for now. But yes, equilateral. Then we get this type of triangle where these two lengths are the same. So if two of the sides are the same, then two of the angles are the same. But which two angles? It's the two angles that are opposite those sides. So this side is opposite that angle, and this side is opposite that angle. So that means that this angle and this angle are the same. Now, if this angle is 30, 
then it means that together this one and this one should be 150 because then all of the angles will be 180. Okay, so if those two are one, if they both add up to 150, but they are the same, then we can divide by two and get 75. So that means that they are each 75. Because then you will get 75 plus 75 plus 30, and that gives you 180. A triangle where two of the sides are the same is called an isosceles triangle. And then lastly, you get triangles where none of the sides are the same. We call that a scalene triangle. So for example, this would be 30, this would be 70. Then we know that all angles of a triangle add up to 180. And so 70 plus 30 is already 100. And so this would have to be 80. But notice none of the angles are the same because none of the sides are the same. And then they often like to include straight lines with triangles. So I could add a, I could extend this line a little bit over here. So now we know that these two angles over here, the 80 and this one, should always add up to 180 because that's what straight lines do. And so this angle here would have to equal 100 because it's the because it's on a straight line. Here's a little practice test. So we need to find the angle X, Y and Z. So if we look over here, that is a straight line. We can see I'm looking at this line over here. And so we know that those two angles must add up to 180. That means that straight away Y will have a value of 80. Then these two lines are trying to tell us that those two sides are the same length, but that also means that the two angles opposite those sides are the same length. So if we look at this side over here, well, the angle that is opposite that is this one. So I'm just going to circle that. And then if we look at this length over here, the angle that is opposite that is this one. And so we can say that these two angles are the same. And so that means that X is also going to be 80. Now, these two together already add up to 80 plus 80 is 160. We know that all three angles of a triangle should add up to 180. And so that means Z is 20 degrees.